Minimal with the tree. Today, we will remember the story of one of the brightest fighters of the Gone Pride FC era, and Japanese MMA representative who alone decided to eliminate all giants stepping on Japanese soil. His name is Akuhisa Minowa, nicknamed Minowa Man. He had 114 MMA fights and won 64 of them, while often going into fights being a clear underdog. The Japanese was extremely dangerous on the ground and managed to win 42 times by submission. In addition to his impressive grappling skills, he worked very well with the audience. That is why over time he became a real public's favorite. Minoa wasn't afraid to accept the challenges of the bigger guys and therefore one of his nicknames became Giant Slayer. It is at this point in his career that we will stop today. August 2006 and the duel of Minoa Man against Butterbean. He was almost 190 pounds heavier than the Japanese. Minoa with a drop kick. The start from Minoa is very impressive and the audience sees a pro wrestling drop kick. But then comes literally the more heavy times when Eric takes a half guard. He of course wants the win but he knows that uh Fights like this, a little bit more pressure. He almost has it, and there it is. Nice sweep, nice there sweep. By time. Yep. Right is the submission game. Is the fight there? He's maneuvering now. Oh, wow. The arm bar ripped there. But the now Middle was extending oh, it. Oh wow! After torturing Butterbean a little bit on the ground, Minoa Man took the giant's hand and held the arm bar. After which Eric had to tap in surrender. Ikuisa the punk Minowa, 35-9. The same 2006 and the Minowa's rival, Giant Silva. The difference in dimensions is approximately the same as with Butterbean. To be precise, it was more than 200 pounds. Forward roll by Minowa right into the single leg and he takes... Takedown from Minowa and big problems for Silva. The giant, regardless of his size and difference in mass, looks absolutely helpless on the ground and feels as if battle between a fighter and a basketball player is taking place. It's just like in boxing, you can look, soften a guy up and keep getting some knee strikes. And now he's going left and right with the knees to the head. Hard knees to the head from Minoa and a duel is over, because Silver taps and the referee stops this unequal bout. Another scalp of the giant in the piggy bank of Minoa, who begins to flirt with the audience in the hall and gets closer and closer to being called the giant slayer. Let's just soak this in. December 31st, 2007, K1 Premium Dynamite Tournament. Duel against the Brazilian with a purple belt in Jiu-Jitsu, Zulu Zeni. The difference in weight is around 200 pounds, but unlike Silva, Zulu has a record of 8-4, and he is not so helpless on the ground. Minoa runs around Zulu and hopes that he has a weak vestibular apparatus that can fail. Minoa delivers single blows and again cycles around the opponent, showing a first-class bicycle. Take down from Zulu. Minoa gets a bunch of punches to the head from the Brazilian, but still doesn't give up until his corner stops the fight. So the giant struck back, and Zulu was able to take revenge for the defeated colleagues making the score 2-1 in favor of Minoa. In 2008, the Dream Promotion, which became a follower of the Pride, organized an openweight Grand Prix and Minoa became one of the eight participants in the tournament. In the first round, Minoa Man immediately hit another giant, Bob Sapp, who at the time could really light up. And Nestor Hoos, who was beaten by Bob twice in K1, would totally agree with this. Sap had a record of 10 to 3 in MMA, and in this fight he looked as a favorite and the most powerful of all the giants with whom fate brought Minoa together, and the difference in weight was 130 pounds. 
University of Washington charges out of his corner. First round of action, overhand right from Minowaman. Single leg here from Minowaman. Can he get Bob zapped down? The fight almost immediately goes to the ground, but Bob, being in a very advantageous position, couldn't benefit from it. And Minoa immediately took advantage. In the knee turned, it's a very vulnerable place for the Achilles lock. Oh, Bob's yeah, it's over! It's over! The second minute of the bout, and there was nothing left for Bob to do but to tap and surrender, and let down his fellow giants while missing Minoa Man in the semi-finals of the tournament. The Giants are unhappy as their score is already 3-1 in favor of the Japanese. Half a year later, the second stage of the Grand Prix and another Giant, Hong Man Choi. Korean, who is remembered by many by the way he beautifully lost to Fedor in pride, became the rival of Minoa. In this fight, Minoa is lighter by the same 130 pounds, but at the same time much shorter than the Korean, so this is exactly the case when a low kick can fly exactly to the head. The beginning of the fight and Minoa is afraid of the Korean in a stance, and Korean is afraid of the Japanese on the ground, therefore he doesn't want to follow him onto the canvas to certain death. She does it, guy. Night after night. Oh, and the hand right. Three. Minowa goes for a single leg. Minowa on top. And Choi just scrambling with him. Minowa. Oh, Choi in the top position. This is how he pounded out Kinseiko last time out of Dream Nine. Big left hand tries for a hammer fist off the right. Choi with the, the second round, and again an attempt from Minowa to carry out a takedown. But unlike the previous ones, this time he manages to win the position, and further, his signature leg locks are used, which more than once rescued the Japanese. Twisting the hill and the second minute of the round, and another giant was defeated by Minoa Man, and the score becomes 4-1 in favour of the Japanese, and at the same time, he is in the Grand Prix Finale. May 29, 2009 Dream 14 tournament, Minoa Man's opponent is 330 pounds boxer Imani Lee, who was supposed to be the next victim of the Giant Slayer. Accurate start of the fight and a takedown from Minoa Man. Imani keeps the head of the Japanese in the lock and tries to carry out the guillotine, but Minoa is freed and loaded onto the Kimura. Japanese fighter takes a back mount and chokes the boxer from the back without any problems, thereby removing another giant from his path and wins this duel by submission already in the first round. And the score of victories becomes 5-1 in favor of Minowa. And finally, the duel that I couldn't find in full but only highlights. Minowa's rival is another giant, Chang Hee Kim. A suplex from Minoa Man and then Americana with one hand or something similar. And the overall score of the competition is 6 1 in favor of Minoa, who removed almost all the giants of the MMA world of that era. For today, these are all my friends. If you liked my video, like and subscribe to the channel in anticipation of next releases. See you soon!